Hi everyone, welcome to another phase of this mega bundle sales. So in this particular video, I'll be showing you how to create a PayPal account that is working, that is functional, that you can use to shop on any website all over the world, that you can also use to receive payments in foreign currency from any prospect who intends to get your product or your services and they are outside the country. They want to pay you in foreign currency. So you, that's why you need a PayPal account. So uh, PayPal is a payment gateway that is generally accepted all over the world. Just the way you have uh, a payment gateway such as Paystack, Flutterwave, that we use in creating our stores in the previous videos. That is how PayPal is. So, but PayPal is generally accepted all over the world, anywhere in the world. So that, that's what makes PayPal different from any other payment gateway because it enables you to receive payments in foreign currency so now i'm going to show you how to set up your own account now let's go there so i'm just going to open my browser so if you type paypal.com on your browser you're going to see something like this you will see something like this this is the nigeria um, um url so yes this is it so you see paypal.com so we're using uh, if you type on your own browser and it immediately it turns to paypal.com slash ng don't use that one don't use that one you will go again and type paypal.com slash ls slash home so you put ls in place of that ng so look at this one now you'll see can you see paypal.com slash ls so this is one we are using so immediately you type it and then it shows you paypal.com slash ng please don't use that one when you use that one you cannot create an account automatically i'm telling you so that is for that now let's go ahead so if you are typing on your browser and it shows immediately paypal.com slash ng please don't use that one please don't use it so i will drop the link at the bottom of this video so that you see how to go about it now if you also try and it still keeps bouncing you back to bouncing you back to ng there is also another method you have to turn your browser to incognito you open an incognito um, tab and use it i will also show you how to do that at the end of this um, video so now you are seeing it here paypal.com slash ls that is the one we are going to use so now let's get started so you have to okay, okay, get started here you have to create an account with them so what are the requirements what are the requirements for creating a PayPal account you need a working email account you need a phone number you need a name that you will use as a business name it must not be registered with CAC any name at all you can use it then you also need um, you need to put your address yes you need to put address and then you also need a verification and uh, means which could be either a, a voter's card um a, a, a voter's card a driver's license and then um, which other one again whichever one of them you have voter's card driver's license and then a passport you have an international passport they will ask you for the numbers so if you're using your voter's card which is your national id me i use my national id and then i use the number of my pvc as my number vin number so that is what you can use those are the requirements you need in setting up this account then at the end of the video i will show you the account you need to link up the the the, the card you need to link to receive payments directly to your account in dollars so now let's so let's get started so you need to put your email address so we have i'm going to put an email here i've used almost all my email so please at a point i'm going to stop there's a place i will get to, i will stop because i may not have access to the person's email i'm going to use now i may not have access to the person's national id um need number so for me to skip that stage i'm going to leave that process and then go straight to my own personal account to continue from there is that okay so now let's go so let me use the same email 
so i'm using this email continue then set up the password So make sure you don't forget your password though. Make sure you don't forget your password. Make sure you don't forget your password. Very important. So I just click continue. Let's see. So my password is strong enough. That is why it went straight. So make sure you use a very strong password. So now when you get to this stage, you have to put a business name, your legal first name. Let's say IK Choice Ventures. So if you use that um, URL that is showing you slash ng paper.com slash ng, you will not have access to choose your Nigeria account. You have to create an account with another another um, country. So when you get here, when you're using this URL that is paypal.com slash ls, that is when you have access to create to select a business phone number that is a Nigeria number. So you come here and click and then you select your country. Look for your country Nigeria. So Come back again. So you select Nigeria. So you put a phone number that um, put a phone number. So let's say zero nine two. So add your business address line. And then you continue. So your business type is it an individual account or a sole proprietorship, a corporation, a partnership? So I'm choosing individual. Then your product keywords. What are the things that you actually do? So you just just search for anything. So I'm just going to search for digital goods. So can you see applications? Let me choose for digital goods media. Then this business URL is if you have a website. So when you're done with that, click continue. So here you have to put your date of birth and everything. So this home address, we put it as the same as business address. This nationality, you can choose Nigeria. But if you're using the other URL that is slash ng, you will not have access to all these things I'm showing you now. So, identity document. So this is where you need an identity document. So you see national ID, you see passport, you see driver's license. So whichever one of them you have, you choose and then you put your national ID number. So if you put, if you choose national ID, you can still use your normal voter's card. Your voter's card. You can still use the voter's card pin as your id number so when you are done you continue so this is where i'm going to stop and then go straight to my account because when, once you you you've passed this stage you are already done just remember your password and your email that's what you'll be using to log into your account so let me go straight to my own account let me go straight to my own account i'm going straight to my own account <laughs> 